Gold Rush Exclusive Fred Lewis has more problems as season comes to a close. The finale of Gold Rush is upon us as Discovery, and now Discovery Plus have one of the very top-rated shows in reality TV. And it's a tough road still for veteran miner Fred Lewis. Lewis has learned the hard way that mining is a skill and an art, aided by luck and intuition. Lewis assembled a band of brothers as he attempts to become independent and help his fellow war hero veteran team. Some of their stories are unbelievable, like Johnny Stans, who should have been dead from the severity of his injuries. Fred Lewis is watching as Alex, Kyle, and Stuart are trying to move some water and dirt. The hiccup this time is the temperature. The water is frozen and Fred is trying to manage the new problem, as his guys appear to be over the tough season. Talking on his radio, Fred says, the ice has met its match. Driving the dozer, Alex Voigt says, All right, here we go. Ah, ice, ice baby, yeah. His dozer smashes through the ice crust in the pond. Excited, Fred says, just a little bit of ice, nothing we can't destroy. His optimistic outlook soon fades. Sounding tired, Kyle says, It's fired here, ready to go? All right, send the water, we're ready. But the water is not cooperating, as we watch Stuart McKenzie kick a solid tube filled with ice. Mackenzie says, that's not good. Hey Fred, one of the hoses didn't drain. I think the hose it's frozen solid. Now fully aware his day is going south, Fred says, I'm en route, damn it. Aggravated, Fred says, yeah, all right, dude, this is probably too big to move by hand. Let's get Kyle over here in the loader and just drag it out. He radios Kyle to assist. Hey, Kyle, needs you to come on down next to the pump and drag this frozen hose out of the way. Alex says, We're just trying to fight the weather right now. Dangerous as hell. I got to back up a really steep grade near a road. I'm right next to this pond the whole time because it's definitely sketchy. Back last week on episode 20, Attack or Retreat, a key piece of machinery crapped out on Fred as he mulled whether or not to just end the gold mining foray. This is a tough one if you have been following all the personal stories of his guys and what they had been through. Their optimism seems to be running out. Rick Ness is having an 11th hour windfall as he is mining on gold-rich pay dirt. And Parker Schnabel and Tony Beats are having some personnel issues and still are managing to reap the rewards of their experience in locations. In Oregon, Lewis had brought together a crew of veteran buddies on the promise of gold and independence. But the reality is hitting hard, as after weeks of setbacks and failures, with their life savings poured into the venture, Lewis has assembled a team of wounded vets and war veterans who all want to break free from a traditional work environment and be masters of their destinies. Freddie Dodge's nephew Kendall Madden Stuart McKenzie, Stefan Generally, Kyle Pletsk, and Johnny Stans, a former Marine Raider with two Purple Hearts who was in a coma after being blown up by a roadside bomb. Tune in Friday to see how all the guys end up and if Fred is going to stick with the mining or go back to working with Parker on his spinoff, Gold Rush, Parker's Trails.